time is slipping away. We have so much more uh, wonderful things we want to share with you and some wonderful friends we want you to meet. Uh, let's just tell Steve Archer to come on over here and give him a great big we love you welcome. Steve, bless you. Give us a little report. The, the Archer family is not quite together as it was singing. What, what's happening here? Well, we're kind of uh, spread out a little bit. Our sister is in Tyler, Texas. She lives with her husband, John Cruz, there. And, uh, but we're going to continue to sing together in, in 1984. We'll even be recording a new album, uh, an Archer's record. But uh, predominantly, we'll be continuing in our individual ministries and traveling and kind of covering more ground that way. All right. And, of course, uh, my whole family involved in ministry. Uh, my brother Gary is a pastor in Ventura, and my brother Ron is a missionary in Brussels, Belgium. Uh, an area that is very, very much in need of the gospel. And uh, so we're just busy about the Lord's work. The devil's not too crazy about you all either, is he? <laughs> no, he isn't. <laughs> no. What about this new album, uh, Through His Eyes? And it's, what, the number one song in the Through whole Christian? Through His Eyes of Love, the title cut, uh, we just found out a few, few days ago, is the number one airplay song in the nation. Oh, right. And uh, that's a first for me, and I thank the Lord for that. Congratulations. Um, in fact... Uh, the song, which uh, I'm going to sing for you in a few minutes, uh, has a tremendous message. I was really happy that it uh, was so well accepted, especially at the, this time of the year, through the holidays. Uh, you know, we, uh, I hope many of you had a wonderful holiday, but there are a lot of people through the holidays that really don't have anything to celebrate. And uh, this song out, went out with a message that uh, Jesus sees you, in, and uh, through his eyes, you're perfect, and you're loved, and you're wanted, and you're needed. And uh, so I thank the Lord for that. And the, uh, the author of the song is here tonight, a friend of mine, a real good friend of mine, Jeremy Dalton. Jeremy, where are you? Right over here. Jeremy, just stand up and wave at everybody. Hey. Wrote the song. Thank God for people who are sensitive to his spirit and write these kinds of songs. Great. Steve, sing us a couple of songs. I'll sing you a song album. right now from my first solo album, a song that was uh, very well recepted, especially in this area. It's called But You Didn't. You could have given up on me When I refused to hear The things you had to say The words that were so clear There was nothing more that you could do Than love me through my sin You could have walked away When I failed and failed again But you did You love me just the same And you did You didn't have to try You didn't You didn't have to die To save me Yet you love me just the same Ooh. When my friends had left me cold my world turned upside down My time had come and gone But Lord, you were still around The trouble that had come my way Was helping me to know That you would guide my life And you never let me go say I love you, but you love me just the same. And you did, you didn't have to try, you did, you didn't have to die to save me, yet you love me. Oh, I know you love me, you love me. I 
and walked away, you said I love you. Oh, you reached out and you loved us anyway. No, you didn't. You didn't have to try. You didn't. You didn't have to die to save me. You love me just the same. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad that Jesus became that supreme sacrifice for our sins? He who knew no sin became all of our sins that we might experience eternal life, that we might have joy and that more abundant, an abundant life here on earth. And I really, I appreciate the opportunity to be here so much this evening. It just was kind of came to me by surprise. They invited me to be here because we're going to be singing for the, uh, the Mercy Corps, the Benefit Concert, uh, which is going to be at uh, Van Nuys Baptist Church on the 27th. And I'm looking forward to that, a great night of Christian music. And uh, I just, any time that I can offer my services in, in that capacity, I am willing to do so. Our group has had opportunity to do missionary work in Europe and in South Africa. And I'll tell you, folks, it, it never leaves. It never goes away once you've had an opportunity to minister to people and uh, to see the film that we saw from Grenada tonight that really ministers to me. And I want to be a part of that, and I hope you want to be a part of it too, to minister to people all over the world. Isn't it wonderful that we have a way of, of being in our town and in our home and on our street, yet reaching all the way across the world to someone else and taking the gospel and the message of salvation and hope, hope that they have in Jesus and through him. We can lift them up in prayers. Even if we can't give, we can give them our love and our prayers and our support. I want to sing the song for you now. This song means a lot to me, not because it's number one, and I, th I thank the Lord for that, but, and I hope that that recognition will just continue to get the message out there that much further, but because we need to see others through his eyes of love, and uh, we need to see each other through his eyes of love. Guys, just a minute. Cut. It's the wrong song, guys. <laughs> Don't want him to get the wrong song there. I think it's the one right before that. I'm really excited about uh, my new record. My Christian, uh, my Christian producer named Chris Christian, uh, who produced the record for me, did a terrific job. I enjoy working with him, and uh, I think I really feel like uh, a kid in a candy shop just having the opportunity to, to sing for the Lord. I feel blessed to have the opportunity to do that. And really, whatever your hands find to do, find to do for the Lord, do it. And do it with excitement. Amen? Yeah. Be excited that you're a part of the family of God through His eyes of love. Someone can't go on giving up, their hope is gone. And somewhere there's a heart that cries, where everything is seen through sorrow's eyes. Cause he can make a miracle 
and change your life to something beautiful. Through his eyes of love, see yourself. Thank you, God bless all of you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Steve. That was super. And I dropped a little bug in Steve's ear tonight. I said, Steve, talk to the rest of the family and see if there might not be a way that you could all come together again and do a great television series for Christian television. Would you all like us to do something like that? You pray for them, and we'll, we'll work on that. We really will.